One more thing, Jana. Uh, so I was in Austin yesterday, and I had uh, this opportunity to go to Lonesome Dove. It's a new restaurant there, but it's not new to celebrity chef Tim Love, who I got to meet. I think we have pictures. Yeah, so I got to meet him. This restaurant is for the adventurous eater. Okay, so lots of different types of meats on this platter. It was all delicious, and everybody was having a great time, a really fun thing. And I don't know if we have other pictures of my friends. I don't know. These aren't scrolling very fast. Uh, that's Luis Reyes and uh, Ryan and Catherine Streeter, who also live in Austin. And I got to also meet the governor. Uh, um, Mr. Governor Abbott was wonderful yesterday, and uh, it does look like he's proposing to me. But we, were, um, <laughs> <laughs> we had a lovely chat, and I got to meet his wife later that night. And uh, Texas, and in particular Austin, the big cities, they are, it's just such a well-run state. They're doing amazingly well, and I was glad to be there. Cool. Awesome. All right, tomorrow night, 10 p.m., you got a great gut felt show. You got Tyrus, a uh, great wrestler. You got Gavin McInnes, who's a complete idiot. Wonderful idiot, anyway. Uh, time for this, though. I hate these people. All right. I am tired of these customer loyalty cards. You know, the punch cards that people have. You got like nine, you get nine sandwiches, you get a tenth. I was back behind some guy at a deli who had two cards. One had four, one had five. He was trying to combine it. Oh, no. Ten minutes I stood behind while he screamed and yelled because he said that he had two cards. Keep it on one card. You don't have this problem. All right. I'm sorry. That's all right. Uh, Juan? That's why I say just push him out of the way, take what you want, and get out of there. All right, April Fool's Day, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel, notorious prankster that he is, and today must be his favorite holiday. Last night, Jimmy had an exclusive announcement from Donald Trump. I said the craziest things I could think of. I love the poorly educated. I had no idea it would go this far. April Fool's America. I'm not really running for president. It was a joke. You're so stupid, it's mind-boggling. It really is. Now go vote for my friend Hillary Clinton. Oh, wow. <laughs> I like he it. Did like that. I like that. <laughs> Mr. Eric. Okay, very quickly, 8 o'clock tonight, the O'Reilly Factor special, the fifth day of five. We're going to really bring it home. Guess what? Ted Cruz, Newt Gingrich, Ed Henry, and Geraldo. We're going to break down everything. And I want to ask Ted Cruz about his newfound lead in Wisconsin and also some provocative things that Donald Trump said yesterday on the show. So let's make sure you check that out. Jed? This is my final installment of Greg Gutfeld's Furry Friends uh. Ruin the World. Just watch this parrot in action. Just go. Just watch it. Check it out. Now the court. Ah! I can't get it off me. Oh my God. Oh my God. Can you please get it off me? It's not funny, Burger. It's not funny. What if that happened in the middle of a cross? In the middle of a what? You know, Brittany Klain okay. Gutfeld, a reporter for Australian oh. Network 9, just trying to do her job, and one of your friends goes on in, just perches like, like, like they're not on TV. What if that bird had, uh, was like one of those animals that had the power of reason and thought <laughs> and was trying to tell <laughs> to her? To break, she could have been a breaking, breaking news. It was a breaking news wow. bird. It's just like Sanders. That's true. So Sanders. you're actually brilliant underneath all this. I don't this know. That's the motto of the know, story. But, uh, that's very strange that they have birds like that flying. Around. Around. I was in Australia once. Big giant, just like what do they? What, how do they travel? <laughs> Flocks of parrots. That the trip well, that you went on the old, with, with with the older lady. Yes, I did. Yes, <laughs> and it was an interesting thing. And I got to fight with a wallaby. I did. <laughs> See what I'm talking about? A wallaby. He's a, menace. a wallaby. Every time. He, he hit me first. You, you <laughs> did. In, this is what I'm in saying. the woods, the wallaby hit me first, officer. Don't let this man. Anyway, we're engaged. Don't. Set your DVR so you never miss an episode of the Five. That's it for us. Have a great weekend.